Hey guys, Lindsay Bell here. Um, we're back in Vampire the Masquerade. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that um, I had actually done all this. This is like my third time having to try and record this crap. And I say crap because I'm only I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> I'm having to do this once again. I mean, I love this game, but it's getting on my nerves right now because it's third time having to try and record this freaking part. Uh, so, please forgive me if I sound just a little annoyed at this. So, alright, need to come talk to I'm him. I'm glad you're here. I've heard you've been up to quite a bit lately. Very interesting. I was hoping you could help me with something. A little bird said they spotted you down in the Warrens. You're gonna be back there soon. Okay, I might be. What do you need? I'm looking for a data CD. It was lost down there, supposedly. Find it for me, and I'll teach you a thing or two. Some stuff that could really come in handy for you, from the sound of things. Alright, sounds good. Mm, great, great. Go to the Warrens, then find the data CD. Don't bother asking around for it. I've already made a pest of myself about this. Just find it, and bring it back. Um, real quick, sorry about that ding you probably heard. I plugged in my phone. And, um, let's see. What did I say? I said, I already, already did. Oh, I have it. excellent. Now listen up, fledgling. You might want to take notes. Sorry, no time for notes. Gotta run. Apparently, I already know whatever he wanted to show me, so, or tell me, teach me, whatever. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the salvage yard right next door. And sorry if I'm going to be kind of flying through this one. It's just I know what to do now. <sighs> I'm so mad that it freaking... I had to um, do this like three times. And... Oh, quick. That's the bathroom. Ooh, glorious bathroom. You know, actually, the three times I did this, I never noticed the darts were in there. So. And we got doggies. Two doggies. Alright, let's close that, and I need to stay right here because of that! Because if I was over there, I would have had the... Okay. I would have had the, um, final death thing. I'm giving the dogs boxes to play with. Okay, what the- Um... Alrighty. Whatever. Right, I need to run through here quick, 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 quick. Oh! It, there's a dude. Yeah, because if I hadn't run through there quick, I would have been stuck in- Yes, there's that part right there. You can't get through that. <gasps> no! 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 That's when we do it. Act like a crazy psycho person that happens. Alright, don't wanna. Don't wanna die. Don't wanna die! Eva. Jump! Jump! It's very hard to get through these things sometimes. Okay. Yes, that's the first. Usually I have to fight my way to get through that. Um, real quick, I'm going to save because I know what's coming up next and I don't want to die. Probably won't, but I don't want to. See, watch. There he is. And he's throwing fire. And it's going over there. Ah! Stay up there. It's gonna... Nope, okay. Last time it exploded again. And I'm going to pick up this ring. And I'm gonna put this away and go over here. She's, there she goes. She starts walking on her own because it's a little thing you're supposed to talk to him. So, come on. No! Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! Alright, um. Here we go. Tell me why you did it. What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. All the same, I love to hear your explanation. Why? 
So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels. Never! Alright, try and make me. My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there in the way? So, killing people made you feel better. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. Am I supposed to let that happen? Alright, these murderers were your revenge. revenge? Justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws. Okay. I forgot that's what he said. <laughs> um, then I say you you got them. It's over. You can get on with life. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. Um, okay, you keep talking like that and I'll have to put you down. I can't turn my back on the evil in this world. Do you think your family would be proud of how you're acting? No. Oh, God, no. No. It's got to stop. I can't live like this. You're right. Oh, God, you're right. I'll never do it again. I swear. Forgive me. <laughs> yeah, all right. Go get on with your own life. So that's complete, and now I need to, um, alright, I'm gonna go, I need to go back to my haven at one point, but first I need to go and do this little computer thing, oh, okay, I love it when they get stuck on their house, it's so funny, alright, hopefully this recording will work. Because if not, I may just go murder some... Okay, I may just go murder somebody. Um, I think, I think I need to go, yeah I do, I need to go around this way anyways. Because, this is where I need to go. Whew. Alright, come. Alright. Simple thing, there's nobody actually in here that would, um, like, see me and, you know, try to attack me or anything. Alright. Okay, I need to turn power on. Alright, then I open this. And that turns on the computer. So I need to go to net security. And the password was guilt baits. I need to go to that. Alright, and he says nice going kid. I'll email you with instructions for the next hub. Which I can actually go and do right now because, let's see. I've got that. So I'm actually going to go back to my haven. Since we're already um, over here anyways. Alright. So. There we go. Back over here. And, um. You actually get to see Heather in her little changed outfit that she did. <clears throat> because I don't think, yeah, there wasn't anything in there. Alright. A couple of things. There's... Did I seriously? I did. There's Jeanette's pinup. Right there. That's what um, Gary gave me. It's, it, it's actually kind of a little freaky looking the way it is. But, and then there's Heather's um, new outfit. 
heels, panties, and she's got a boob job. And she's obviously wearing Master? contacts. Um, I promise it'll be done by the time. Which I don't understand that because he wasn't even in here in the first place, but you know, Master? whatever. Um, about your okay. parents, I actually had her change into the dark, dark and gothic look. <clears throat> so, <coughs> excuse me for one second. Sorry about that. I had to freaking start coughing. All right. Emails. He actually has another place. I need to go to the theater, which is downtown. And the passwords break a leg. And then here's the thing. He just tells me how to get to it, which I have to go through the sewers because he was unable to find a key. And then wireless camera. There's, he's telling me that he has the camera. He put it in my mailbox. And I have to find it. Find the red X. And it's up high. And then cheat codes. Um, this is the good Vivi's um, picture. But I don't. Da, da, da. See, I think I was missing one. Like one um thing because here's the log from the seventies. Um, here's the new one, the clipboard. It has like the recent stuff, but I don't have because that's the screenplay. Okay. So I don't have the um. The one from the 50s. So apparently I missed that one and it realized. Actually, you know what? I never did look in here. I don't think I put it in here. Come on. Because that's an appointment book. That's a diary. That's from the Yoshi house. And that's her thing. So it was Lily's. So. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, okay. I am going to, I need to take the camera. I am going to go ahead and just put it in there and just see if he'll take it because I don't want it in my inventory anyways. Which, sadly, I'm not going to be able to do that part. So, well, I would have to, um, I'd have to go back down in there. What was I doing? Oh yeah. But yeah, I'd have to go back down there if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to get her poster. And I'm gonna, I was kind of surprised I actually missed that, because I thought I got everything down in there, but apparently not. Um, just go ahead and go downtown, because... Sally, in the previous two recordings, I had said that I was going to go to Hollywood first, do a couple things, and then come here, but, you know, things happened, and I accidentally hit downtown, but, you know, it's fine. Okay. There's the, um, the club. This is... There's a theater, but I need to go over here. Oh yeah, hold on, because I remember. Yep, there was money there. There was a knife here, and there's a um, sewer entrance over there. But I need to talk to him real quick because apparently he had something. Say now, Wonder Girl, seeing the kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? So. Wow, wow, wow! Uh, that's your business, okay? I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action song, all right? All right. You got mine. Yo, I need a hardcore pimp killing Cleopatra Jones for a super-sized skull. Straight up Foxy Pam Grier style. Still with me? You got my attention. Here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tong and some local boys are meeting on top of a nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam-sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, 
I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now how that sound? Um I'm just gonna I really don't care about a discount because I really buy stuff anyways. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight out hard boy terminator type. I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? Let's see what you got. Really, I just need to, um, sell you stuff. I still don't know what to do with that. Um, I think that's all I can give you. No, 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 the knife. All right. So I actually have that to do. No, I actually I forget I forget that it shows up at where you got the quest and not where you need to go to. So ah, I'll be able to do that. All right, so I go through here. Yeah. Okay, I thought I saw something. <laughs> A little worrisome. A little rat. Where'd I go? I went. I went this way. I'm trying to remember how I got there without having to go check. Hello. So, let's see. And over here. And. I think it was this one, right? That's B. Yes. That's B. Alright, and coming up here, it will um, take me right into the theater. And I'll actually be able to use the little um, discipline that makes me invisible. So thank God I have that. It makes things so much easier. So, but real quick. Oh, it just saved the game. Anyways, <laughs> I'm blind. Well, now I have a double save. Alright. Oh, shit. Close. Yeah, I don't think so. I can jump right over that. No, 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 no. Oh, God. That didn't kill me. Alright. Because where I have to go is actually right up here. And you go there. And there's the X. You put the camera down there. And then I have to go back jump off. He that does that. Whoa. Okay. Come on. He that does that. Alrighty. So go down here. So this one, if I remember correctly. Yes. Cause all the other rooms, there's like three other rooms right here. They all have computers, but it's not the um right one oops alright so now the cams enabled so now I go here it would break a leg alright I almost got the password alright you're a regular James Bond check your email soon I'll be in touch which I could go right now and go check it but I'm going to um going to do 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 what was that doing? Um I don't know. I was gonna go back to Hollywood now. Hello. Alright, oh go, go, go. I'm going to go ahead in that discipline. So now I'm going to actually, real quick, I'm going to go run to the club and get my money, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to cut that part out because, um, the music in there, I end up getting copyrighted because freaking YouTube and all their glory. So I'll be, um, I'm just going to edit that part out. No. 
I think that's where I came out of, is it? Maybe it was. Oh, I'll find out in a second. Yeah, it was. But, um, I'm gonna go to the club and I'm just gonna, like, cut that part out and then come back. So. Alright. Whoa! I hit, okay, whatever. Just, whatever. I hit that and accidentally hit that ult. Alright. So. Really? 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 Whatever. So I'm gonna run in here real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I actually I got a ton of money from her. I got um $1,850 from her. <laughs> Apparently I've been gone for a very long time. But, ugh, it's a lot of money. That's good. But yeah, I, I, I'm sorry I'm gonna, I had to cut that part out though. I kind of wish I didn't have to I'll if be. YouTube wasn't so anal about that shit. I would put it in and not have to worry about them saying, Oh, you're copyright. That's not your music. Blah, 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 blah. Shut the hell up. So. Alright. Um. She's this way. Because I need to, actually, there's two things this way. No, the other thing's the other way. After I, um, talk to her, I actually need to, okay, that I saw something. I actually have to run to a, um, cafe and do something. Ow! I just, like, I ran my fingers through my hair and apparently had a huge knot in that freaking hurt. Okay, come on. Alright, there we go. Hello, and goodbye. I have to go up here. I don't remember. Who's back? Hmm. Hello, BB. Couldn't stay away, could you? Hmm. Not really. About Hatter. Mm hmm. Here's the screenplay. Oh. I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just. I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here. Would you tear it up for me? Sure. Thanks. I found a source. Okay. I mean, did you? It's taken care of. It must have been difficult. But take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. Oh, how much do you appreciate it? Can't you tell? I simply adore you. You're so sweet to me. The way you protect me. What would I have done had you never come in here? Oh, why can't they all be like you? The world can be so, so beautiful. Here, take this. A reminder of the beautiful girl whose heart you stole. Oh, my pleasure. So, is it? Hee <laughs> hee. Alright. Look who's back. Anything else? Couldn't stay away. Okay. Could you? You need to tell me. I had some questions. Mm -hmm. oh, tell me about yourself. Mm -hmm. You gonna tell me something? Really? <sighs> okay. Now, oh my girl, really? You're not even. I can't even jump over there. Jeez, now they're both okay. Whatever. They both suck. Um. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Like, I saw the door earlier and I wasn't sure if I was... Lord, I'm bouncing off of everything. I wasn't sure if I was able to go out that door or anything. Okay, now I'm going to run over to the cafe. Because, um... The prince has sent me an email talking about this cafe that was downtown. He had put an offer on it to buy the place and everything. 
but the owner said no. So there's this food critic that's there. He's doing a review, and I have to persuade him to give them a awful review. So we'll be going to do that now. And I think I see him. Maybe? Yes, there he is. Um, real quick, I'm going to save in case I do mess up because I did mess up at the first place. But I think I remember what I did. Okay. Hello. More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Well, I want you to break it. I just thought I said hi. Just exactly who are who are you to feel you have so much power? I think I just said this. Hello. One. Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is, oh, to put it in a language you can relate to, trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. Ho oh, ho ho. Oh. You didn't know what I eat, buddy. I'm gonna leave, or your thumb's going to make an appearance in your ass. I want to say that. Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Review some blood banks and then I may know you. <laughs> I just love your work. Oh. Thanks. This place is just horrible, don't you agree? We should go somewhere else. You're wasting my time. Fine, bye. Alright, I'm just gonna keep Me, talking to him. Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast. You know, it's, shut up. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. I've read so many of your articles. Always good to meet a fan. Can I sign a napkin or something for you? Is it in your best interest to pan this place? You've got a reputation to keep. I think it's that one. How so? The food is bad. I mean, it's bad. You're becoming a joke of the food world. You'll give anything a good review. You know, now that you mention it, the gnocchi was a bit cold, and the ravioli might have been store-bought. Also, the decorum's a bit lacking, isn't it? This place is just an overpriced cafeteria. No stars! Yes. I'm going to write a review that will destroy this restaurant. Go, my pet, go! <laughs> no, good, good. I'll be leaving now that homework is done. Destroy. I'm stuck. <laughs> no. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I was laughing and then I started to cough. Okay, um, I think, didn't I have to go talk to... Yes. Okay, I did. Sorry. I was trying to ooh, I was trying to read. I need to go in here and talk to him. This is one thing I did not get to do because all the other stuff took me like a while trying to read and decide what to do. But this is one thing I didn't do. I didn't get to talk to him. I figured since the episode is about to end, I'll go ahead and talk to him real quick. Evening. Evening. Kingsway. Yeah, I never so used past tense. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. Does your voice sound different? Whatever. Thanks, Ax. <laughs> Thanks, Isaac. I appreciate it. I had another question. Certainly. Oh, Vader, are you alright? Oh, Lord. Apparently, Vader has an itch. He, like, just jumped up and started scratching his, um, side. <laughs> Anything else I can do in the, um,. Tell me about yourself. In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American film's top 100 movies, you must have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. Oh, really? I'm impressed. Who's your favorite person to work with? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden, Dean, 
Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. Hmm. Can I be in a movie? No, Ash? Ash, where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion of his performance, I knew he had it. Go on. I hadn't seen anything like him since Cliff or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, the lure, that undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. I'm guessing you, um, that's when you changed him to a vampire. Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. The parties, the drinking, the sports cars, the women. One night when I came to discuss his next role, I found him nearly dead of an overdose. And I couldn't, I couldn't let him go. Oh, so the fame went to his head. Um. So you made him hit your child saver. I acted on impulse. I'd seen so many others die before their time, but with Ash, I had a chance to prevent that fate. So what happened? It devastated Ash. He still wanted to act, but I denied him his place in the limelight. He had to lie to his friends about his new lifestyle. He had to feed. I gave him a club, a scrap of his former glory. I did everything I could to facilitate the change. Does he hate you? He feels obligated to me. I don't think he hates me. Resents me, maybe. I am his sire and he is my child. There is a responsibility and respect inherent in that bond. Even if we are no longer the friends we were. Mm. Where can I find him? He spends nearly all of his nights in his club, the asp hole. I am, I admit it, too old-fashioned to appreciate it. To me, it's the compressed essence of everything that's wrong with the film industry today. Well, maybe I'll head over there sometime. I have other questions. Certainly. Um, anything else I can do in there this city? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. What? Hmm, I can see that's got your attention. Look at that, look at that little smile. It's actually a little creepy. God, if I could, I'd run away right now. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking kindred in my city. I'm interested, but how exactly does one deal with the gargoyle? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Certainly. Um, what can you tell me about the Nosferatu? The Nosferatu? I pity them, but I loathe their presence. I deal with them when it's necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. They respect my streets, and I keep my politics out of their sewers. But I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. I like the Nosferatu. Certainly. Alright, <laughs> what can you tell me about Vivi? You've met Vivi, have you? Of all the kindred I know, she seems the most alive. She's still young, though, but nonetheless adept. She's not my child, but she's become like a daughter to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Another question? Certainly. Alright, yeah, I didn't think there was any more. Alright, so now I gotta go take care of this grab girl. Yay. Um, so I gotta go take care of the gargoyle, and I can go see Ash at his club. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do about the music. I may have to go in there before next episode and see what the music's like, because I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, but, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. And I'm going to start off next episode going in here to, um, is it is this, yeah. Going in here and going to deal with the gargoyle. Real quick. I'm th thinking about it. Go ahead do that. And that's good for now. So, after this finish shaving, I'll be done.
Uh, okay, so next time um, we'll start off talking to a girl girl. Hopefully just talking and nothing else. <laughs> Alright, so bye guys. Talk to you later.